Morning everyone, my name's Andy and I'm an ordinand here at All Saints, um, which means I'm training to be a priest, I'm about halfway through now uh, and I'm ordained uh, June, June 2026. But I would like to talk to you this morning about this guy here, he's called Woodbine Willie and Woodbine Willie was a poet and a priest, he was a chaplain in fact in the First World War. But he was no ordinary chaplain. Whilst he was an officer, he chose to stay close to his men that he served. He shared all their physical training and all the hand-to-hand combat practice. And what by Willie's real name was Geoffrey Kennedy. And he was born into quite a deprived area of Leeds. So how did he get his name? Well, from what he did, every day, save Sundays, he walked the trenches handing out woodbines. Now, they're cigarettes. We know more about cigarettes now than we did back in the First World War. But this was a a source of comfort to the troops on the front line. And he handed out woodbines and he handed out New Testaments to all the troops. And to be their chaplain, Woodbine Willie said, You must acquire the love of the men, be their comrade and their friend. So he walked the lines of men queuing to take trains to take them to the front line, handing out these woodbines and these Bibles. And he remarked that he could understand why the men wanted the woodbines, but he couldn't quite account for why they took Bibles to them, to the front line. His first experience of the front line was the Battle of the Somme. This raged from summer 1916 right the way through to the autumn. He was always present when the men went over the top. Once over, they faced a hail of bullets and shells. He then sought out the wounded and found the dying. He dragged them out of the mud to the first aid posts. And after the fighting, he gathered up volunteers and he buried the dead. He preached three times a day in the open air to crowds of between 500 and 1,500 men. His first Christmas was quite profound. And he wrote, I found 400 men drawn up in the rain, waiting patiently. We had a short service and a sermon. And then the glorious part came. I went into a shed in the farmyard, and the communicants, they're the people who want to receive communion, came with me. There weren't many, but they meant it. It was wonderful. There were no lights, there were no ritual, nothing to help but the rain and the far-off roll of guns. And Christ was born in a cattle shed on Christmas Day. He came silently and surely nearer, nearer to us, officers and men kneeling on the mud floor, and we all knew it. Woodbine Willie faced the stark realities of war. He wrote about his first time in battle, of those laughing, he said like fiends, at his little religion and his silly God. Where was peace and gentle Jesus in all of this? And this changed how Woodbine Willie saw his faith. He asked really big questions. Was God down in Flanders mud or was he up in heaven on the far side of the sky away from all the bombs? Was God in the city slums 
amongst the despairing, or just in the chapels of the well-to-do? Where was church in all of this? And this experience gave him a perspective on life that he shares with us. And it centres around his favourite passage in the Bible. And it says, For God who said, let light shine out of the darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Jesus Christ. And Woodbine Willie was brave enough to stare down that darkness, confident in the light of Jesus Christ, this light in the world. And Woodbine Willie gives us his opinion of God in all this. God creates a world, he says, where humans are free to love and to serve God and to love and serve one another. So consequently, humans are free to reject him and to dominate one another. God gives us freedom to love him. And free humans can equally choose and act in ways that cause suffering and even the horrors of war. He says, Warfare arises out of the limitation which the God of love has given to submit in order to create spiritual personalities to call his sons and his daughters. But Woodbine Willie never, ever lost the hope that God would eventually bring his plan of peace to us all. So is God up in heaven, or is he down here with us? What's God looking for, would Bind Willie ask? Well, in short, he's looking for you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you guys at the back there. He's looking for every one of us. Would Bind Willie says, he's a good shepherd who seeks his sheep. God never waits for us to come to him. God is forever coming to us. Woodbine Willie said he's the coming God. He's seeking the dirtiest, meanest apology of a man that crawls upon the earth. And whenever he gets the shadow of a chance, he will succeed. And this isn't so strange either. Jesus spent his life with the downtrodden. The poor, the lepers and the sinners. So God chose to leave his kingdom. To be born of a refugee family in a land run by invaders. Helpless as a baby, reliant on his mother. He chose not to raise an army, conquering lands. But the light of the world went winningly to his death. He was betrayed deserted by his friends, to hang with common criminals. But in the depth of despair, we're given the hope of eternal life in the resurrection. For Woodbine Willie, God is a coming God. Not one who sits on the throne waiting for humans to come, but he's on a quest and he's seeking us out. He wants us as we are. Regardless of what mess we're in, Or the mistakes we've made. He doesn't need us to straighten out our lives or clean ourselves up. Just come as we are. So Woodbine Willie then asks, well, where is church in all of this? For him, church was the battlefields. He said, these men are my parish. And I must go where my parish goes. His church is where his people are. It was in the trenches. And in peacetime it was in the slums of the cities. And as we've seen, Jesus spent his time with the wrong sort of people. He healed the blind. Spent time with, the, with a woman of bad reputation to give her hope. Touched the unclean. Caused havoc. 
in the temple. So Woodbine Willie says, church isn't just on Sundays. It's every day. It's on, it's on the streets with the street angels at night. It's in the food banks. It's the chaplains. It's the drop-in centres. It's the warm hubs. It's the toddlers groups, the hearing groups, the pastoral teams. Church is us. We're God's army. We're living proof of the good news of Jesus Christ in this world. So what can we learn from Woodbine Willie? Well, God is here and he's with us. He's searching for us. He wants us just how we are. And he wants us to follow Jesus in the life that he led. Because we are his church army. We are his light in the darkness. Thank you.